Oh, I know it's all about what's going to happen to certain royal residences. Yeah. As all today, apparently Charles is planning on turning Balmoral into a museum. Museum, I. Oh. For the Queen, for like her reign, basically. Oh. So that's all her. Her clothes on display and things linked to her time as Queen. Over the 70 mm, years on yeah. display. It's like a celebration of everything that happened during her time, I guess. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I can't remember who told me that. It might have even been Kerry. Oh fuck, I can't remember. Yes, I did it, some say. Oh, it does make sense. And basically, it was a male. There's staff there to keep their jobs, basically. Not for, yeah. If it becomes like a part time home for the family, then it's going to use where it's being used a lot more. Well, by all accounts, um, Prince George, Charlotte, Princess Charlotte, and Louis used to enjoy going up there and mm. seeing the Queen. But Sorry about the wonder, little mountain. Makes you wonder what they'll do with Sandringham. Yeah. Well, I'll keep that. Probably keep that. As a, cause they always spent Christmases there, didn't they? <coughs> yeah. Keep it for, like, family things, I guess, and then... I, I was know, like, I didn't sense. know, but like, when Harry and the bitch got married, she was wanting to stay in one of the wings of um, Buckingham Palace. Why doesn't that surprise me? And maybe that's why she threw a strop, because she got told no. Until so they pointed out, you know, eventually that's going to be um, Charles's. Yeah. That's the resident of the monarch. They got given Frogmore Cottage. What more do they bloody want? <laughs> yeah, that's. I think. Yeah, she took offence at that. No, she built a fucking fence. <laughs> oh, Maisie. <laughs> 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 You're not paying attention to me. Bloody Maisie just connect, disconnect. Yeah, we heard it. it. <laughs> Leave it alone. Fix the controller. Bloody dog. <laughs> God, now I don't know why I don't want a dog. More Whoa, like you don't want one like, one like her. Uh, no, I don't. You want, want one animal. like Freya? Yeah, look, a calm thing. We're fine. No, I don't want animals. More aggro than what they're worth. Get a fish. I might jump out and start attacking you. Yeah, be piranhas, not my luck. <laughs> Sorry about the bit at the end, Josh. Uh, he isn't. <laughs> about getting a bigger cedar. Oh, fuck, I'm full. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the dog just run over. Oh, in this, I'm thinking in real life. No, in this. <laughs> Just ran. It was walking down the middle of the field. I just ran it over. Did it get squelch? It did. I've got a new water bottle, like a thermos, for asking to keep my water cold. Well, I'm not. Oh. So unfortunately, 
you won't hear no the more. birdie song. You've done that deliberately, just before my <laughs> No, time. I had one for work that was pretty useful, so I'll get one for home as well. So no more... <laughs> I've got a uh, metal canteen I've been using yeah, that. Yeah, it's like a um, big metal, like, water bowl, whatever this thing. I think mine's two pint. Yeah. Well, this is 750 mil and it's fucking massive. Three yeah, I think mine holds two pints. It's something like like 1.1 litres or something like that, which I think is about two points, yeah. is it not? <laughs> and there's me making do with a pint glass. <laughs> but I use that for work, because... Make sure I take plenty of water to work. Oh, that field. It's got to be higher, but it's all you right. um, What I'll do is I'll get this one started and then I'll start herbiciding. straw we're collecting, are we selling it at this point or are we just going to build it up for when we have build it up. animals? Because you know? <coughs> we're going to have to think about getting cattle sometime in the near future because of that hose and... Yeah. Oh, yeah. The umbilical. Yeah. I think that means we'll have to put some, have a mobile tank or a tank somewhere mm, aye. to connect to. Well, I don't know how far apart tankers have to be to link up. Um, I. Because if you had know. storage bits sort of stuck in a corner of a field, you know, because we got them little ones underground things. Yeah. You could have one like every sort of like maximum distance, so they all interlink. If you know what I mean, so they all sort yeah. of. Yeah. So the shit goes in down at the cat one. If we're going to have it down sort of in the middle. But you can still get it right at the top. I don't know if that will work or not, but it's something that you'd have to like, look up or try. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really sure don't tank, know. Right. 75. Uh. Bloody hell. Let me see if you see. Sorry, what? Let me see if you see. Right. Oh yeah, that's when I had to quickly stop. That's when Matt's getting his own back. That was um, yeah, I had to stop because I was full and. No, I just wanted to get your own back. in the uh, James May series. He goes to Pompeii. Oh right, yeah. And, um, one bit that really got got I didn't realise it shows that they're looking out. They're standing on a, the ruins of like a sort of building of a, someone's house. They've got like a sort of balcony. They're looking out over more modern Phil. buildings that have been built in the distance. Hang on. And land and trees and stuff. And then basically the guy's ribs like, yeah, before Pompeii that was the sea. And now it's just <laughs> land with buildings oh. and stuff on it from where the volcanic material made new land. What was a um, um, caustic? No, not caustic flow. Um, um, something plasty. But it was saying it's something I'd already uh, thought before. It was a big fucking disaster, but it could easily happen again. They've said no, it's um, not. An inactive pyroclastic volcano. flow. 
That's it. Uh, no. I knew it was something plasty. Vesuvius isn't inactive and could go again sometime. Yeah. Oh, it's dormant. Yeah, it's dormant, so it could easily, I don't know when, it could be another few thousand, year, thousand years or so, but it could go again and fuck up the new land they've put in buildings nearby. Well, it's like Hawaii's getting bigger. Yeah. Yeah. And they're talking about Mount, um, is it Etna in Sicily? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that pretty much every year that goes up a little bit. Yeah. In different amounts. Sometimes it's worse than others, but I'm talking about. It's the, due how and sometimes explosion. it's just like roads and that absolutely covered in ash and they have to clean them up quite regularly. It's due a major eruption. Yeah. Well, it's like um, the one at Yellowstone. Live anywhere near that and Yellowstone and places like that, knowing the potential. Well, fucking Yellowstone is a super volcano. Yeah, yeah. that's potentially one day you could fucking lose everything you you own. Well, the thing is, if that one at Yellowstone goes, that's, that's uh, yes, an yeah. extinction event. Yeah. Well. Um, for that, for North America potentially, not necessarily the world. Although no, it would have effects on the world. No, um, it would literally wipe out most of North America yeah. if that goes. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, I think actually, yeah, because I think it's erupted twice, and I think the second time it was like it covered more of an area than the first or something. Yeah, but. It all went east, so it's like to California and stuff might be okay. And, um, like the coast and stuff might be okay. Well, they say Washington, Oregon, goes, and that will go. Alaska. Yep. It was more the sort of safe east. As far as I think, maybe just to Louisiana. Depends on the uh, wind direction as well. Well, I think that is to due to the prevailing winds. Yeah. Because the prevailing winds are sort of off the Pacific, over the mountains. Yeah. But yeah, if that goes, that takes out a big chunk of North America. Yeah, apparently it's not necessarily overdue. There's no math to when they can um, go off. It's based on more tremors and stuff in the build-up, they can work out when it might be going. There's no, like, oh, it should have happened by now, it hasn't, but... A lot of the ground that would be covered by the ash cloud is farmland. Mm -hmm. Which would have a knock-on effect of decimating crops or potential crops. Yeah. Which but, once again have a major impact on North America. If it in, if it erupted, say December sort of time, it wouldn't be so bad. In fact, once the ground for that and everything, if you quickly cultivated it and stuff, you'd actually be putting you know, the ash into the ground. Nutrients back in. Ten thousand years ago, the last one up. How long? 70,000 years ago. Oh, 70? I thought you said seven, I'm thinking. <laughs> you know. I don't remember that. <laughs> no, I can't remember that. But yeah, they monitor it all 24 hours a day because they are worried if that goes. Yeah. Oh, I fucking remember that bloody. One over the fucking Yellowstone, fucking fell in the fucking pool of was it sulfuric, sulfuric acid? Yeah. Mm. Fucking. By the time they got there, yeah, it was oh, gone. What a slow, painful death. To be honest, it wouldn't. It'd be actually fairly quickly because once it got down your fucking esophagus and everything, it. Uh, I always think of um. I think the shock would probably quickly get you. Did you ever see Dante's Peak with uh, mm. Pierce Brosnan about the yes. no. volcano eruption in that yeah. American town? And 
there's a bit where they're trying to get across this lake and the fucking woman's mother falls in. Hey, Josh. Her fucking legs are like burnt off by the end of it. Josh. Yep, yeah, hang on. That's a good film. It's a bit over the top. Yeah. But it's least, dated. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen it. Josh. I'm coming. That's yeah. only 20 years old. Yeah. Linda Hamilton, wasn't it? I think, as well. That's not that old. I said over 20 years. I think he drives a. 97. Um, drives a Saab in it. Maybe not. I know there's one film yeah, there's like that where there. the. Where the bloke's driving a Saab and that shows you how dated it is because Saabs aren't built anymore. Aren't they? No. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. There's something to do with a lake that's turned to acid. When did they stop making Saabs? Um, mid to late 90s, early noughties. Really? Yeah. Because I remember them doing a thing on Top Gear about it, because they Apparently actually went to a, the place. The Saab name is still known well for defence security. Yeah, Saab Higgin aircraft. Yeah. Because that Woody's convertible, that's a Saab, and I think that's an 07 plate. Probably one of the last then. Yeah, but, see, I think it's 2011. I stopped. Confucius says, "Man who goes to bed feeling sad wakes up feeling cocky." Confucius says, man who dreams of marshmallows wakes up with no pillow. Of course, I forgot about that. Robin Bard's wedding yesterday. Ah, sending my commiserations. <laughs> um, yeah, he was in my year. Uh, what a muppet. Um, yeah, there was... Two funerals and a wedding yesterday. That sounds like the title of a film. <laughs> no, that was four weddings and a funeral. I know, but it sounds like it could be the title of a film. <laughs> Two funerals and a wedding. Yeah, there was um, a bloke that used to own one of the pubs in the town. He was 90-something, I think. Good innings. 80, 90-something, yeah, he was... <laughs> And then there was um, Willie McLean, the one who um, went through the roof. Yep. 55. Fucking hell. Fucking hell! Shit! <laughs> I got a year. I was gonna say, it was only, I was thinking there was only a year older than you. Holy fuck! Well, you two look on the bright side. Uh, We're not around to live Logan's Run era. Oh, you got a turbo any... engine. <laughs> Have any Logan's of you ever from... seen Logan's Run? No. No, I never heard of it. Basically, when you get to <laughs> 32, I think it is, you are euthanized. Oh. So, that seems a strange age to... Yeah, but that's what it is. They get euthanized. Huh. So, Logan yeah. runs from it, let me guess. 
Logan is a police officer who is to enforce it uh, and then he gets to the age and he runs. Ah, yeah, that was what I kind of thought. But, yeah. But, um, yeah, the fucking turnout for Willie's funeral. Went through the roof. <laughs> well... <laughs> Why would it have gone through the roof? How would it have gone through the roof? <laughs> it wasn't in a church. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, my sick sense of humor. Sorry. You know when they go like... Prices are going through the roof and shit yeah. like that. You know, that was like the turnout. Yeah, went through the roof. Sorry, that was sick. Oh, uh, bad boy, bad yeah. boy, bad boy. <laughs> you're, you're, that, I just don't get that one out yet. Uh, no, boy. there was a lot of people standing waiting for the hearse to go past. I was going to say, didn't they give them some chairs? Well, you could bought a chair you once stood in the middle of the street. And the Were they for him or over. they just left over from the Queen on Monday? They haven't gone home yet. Yeah. <laughs> if Matt lived near Balmoral, I'd say they're the hangers-on. <laughs> <laughs> they're the uh, ones that are still waiting to see the Queen drive past. They <laughs> haven't got the news yet. No. Uh, These yeah. American tourists come over to see the Queen and they haven't, they don't realise <laughs> she's dead. Uh, sorry. Are you going to send us an invite? Yeah, or do I have to, oh, fucking I was going to say, do I have to invite myself in? <laughs> it's oh, taken that. me the last five minutes, but I've got our new vehicle back to the farm. Uh, what new vehicle? What are you going to... You bought it? No, I leased it. Uh, let's come and have a look. Josh? Oh. You do realise you might be fucking rolling the field. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, come round. Right. Oh, you see. Look, what's the engine when it starts up? It fucking... <laughs> fucking spinning around. The only you thing is, there's no horn on it. No, because you can shout, Oi, get out of the way! <laughs> Jesus. That's like something that ha Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> we ended up better out of that. What's that tank in between us? Is that where it gets fueled? That's a little battery, it looks like. I'm not sure what for. No, it's a tank. Oh, that thing up there. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Because if that's where the fuel's put in... Because the I'm, normal I'm version is just a flatbed, and then you add on this bit. Right. So that, I don't know what that is. What bit are you talking about? The little black tank in between, between us. our heads. Uh, it's a water tank or something, I think, because it's not there to start with. You add up when well, you add the on the tank trailer extension. Is the red above. one? Is the red one above the engine? Aye. The black one, I would say, I think is water. Water for cooling. This one, like I said, isn't there to start with though. It gets added on when you extend up the height of the trailer bit. I would say. So I'm not sure. There's also a pair of shoes, I just noticed. Well, this is a single cylinder engine. It's a very quiet runner. It's just 22 miles. Apart from that's not what that engine would sound like. No, that really wouldn't. No. That'd be chugging and spluttering. It chugs a like little that. bit when you drive. It wouldn't be spluttering, no. That that's sounds like a lawnmower big, engine. Yeah, that's just a big lawnmower engine. It's... That's probably going to be... It's a single cylinder. 
it's probably going to be something like a bit of three inch. Oh, the pedals distance. are tiny, I've just noticed. It's like you're barely able to get your foot on them. That'll be slipping off, wouldn't it? You'd have You've to be very it. precise. There was a big fuck off looking pedal in the middle. Has it got low range and high range? You've also got, I should think, you've probably got your clutch, then two separate brakes, mm. then I think your f throttle accelerator. Also, I, know, so I, have a, I have a proper seat, and Ray just sits on like a folded up towel or something, by the looks of it. That's not even a folded up towel, that's a fucking, like a little um, oil oh, can Oh, thing. it is, yeah, from this angle. I thought it was just a really bad texture, but no, there's a hand on it. And there's a cardboard, cardboard box, box under there. That's my lunch. <sighs> oh, okay. The only thing I could think of that tank above is it's water to feed the system if some escape mm. um, I'm trying to see what? I, and I go in first minute. person you disappear I'm trying to see what he's ah, doing fuck with it, the let's just get back to work seems to be <laughs> change gears he, he puts his foot onto the middle one as if that's the clutch oh no he's not doing it again now to be honest I don't even think it's gears I think there's Fucking a low and drive. On the right, it's saying one, two, and three. Uh, might just change belts. If you notice, it's belt drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Old leaf springs on the rear. It's. I think it's four wheel drive. Might not be. It's still rolling. It looks like a three wheel drive. Right, you can send that back, Josh. Yeah. Right, what we got to do? Really? Number five's got to be what? finished. And number one. You're fucking overtaking me. <laughs> Once you've done this one, Josh, you can then go do um, number one. Okay. And I can get that tiny little bit. When you've done that bit, Josh, tell you what, mm -hmm. buy the Estrella and bring it across. Okay. okay. Do you want to do that a little bit, Matt, and then I'll... Josh, did you hear what I said? I know you said to start number one. And I will get the, li right. the fight a little bit. <sighs> Why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Pardon? If I turn this around... Hang on. You're trying to connect it to the front of your track there. No, it won't, but... It will connect. No, it, will. No, it won't. But it looks now it like i got a pod racer. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> And then we can see about getting rid of this. 